Well, hello, hello, and welcome back to a My Garage Survival. Yes, yes, indeed. We are back in it. Fantastic. Okay, okay, okay. So, pro tip uh, if any of you ever have trouble getting into the survival game and it just gets stuck on that loading screen or whatever, and it doesn't seem like it can ever come in, uh, just load up a regular game in the regular career mode or whatever, and then quit and then come back here and load it up, and you should have uh, no problem. Anyway, yeah, I spent like Probably about an hour uh, just freaking quitting the game and <laughs> trying to load up this save. Anyway, I'm super happy that I was able to get it. Um, let's go ahead and just get this puppy going. We need to... Well, first and foremost, we are going to replace these wires real quick. As we do have some good wires over there. Uh, so there we go. And let's see. The alternator is right here. Oops, hold on, hold on. Our battery fell out. Okay, the alternator's right here. Uh, let's see if we can get that bolt off, of course. Okay, did I drop my wrench? Of course I did. Of course I did. Okay. We still need to find an air pump. Oh, and front wheels. We'll have to see if that truck in there uh, has the front wheels on it. Anyway, anyway, there we go. I think I missed it. Yeah, I don't think I loosened the right thing. Anyway, we got it fixed. Uh, let's get the good old starter down here. There we go, and that should be all the wire parts, right? Alternator, starter. Oh, yeah, no, no, the frame, the frame. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, maybe we already got that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't even get the frame. I got the damn, uh, that thing, that thing. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and, oh, there was no front tires, so that is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but let's get the good wires. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Okay. Maybe not. Hold on. And there we go. There we go. Fantastic. Let's get it in. So she said, okay, let's go ahead and uh, get this all tightened up. Now, I am a little bit weary about putting uh, the crankshaft in. I do know a lot of times it seems like when we take off the oil pan and stuff that the oil just kind of stays in the pan itself um which would be okay but uh, let's see how was the carburetor uh, of course the carburetor's fine uh, let's see let's see we should check the spark plugs real quick and rockers and all that so let's go ahead and pull off the uh, the valve cover here right Okay, if I could pick the damn engine back up again. There we go. Just set it down, please. Nope, nope. I mean, that, that position will work. Uh, just hold it in like this. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Let's take off the valve cover. See how the rocker panels are. Damn it. Not the rocker panels anyway. I meant to say rockers. Okay, they're junk. They are junk. Get back up here, will you? Uh, we might as well take... Okay, we're just going to put this on the ground, actually. I think it's a little bit hard to work on up there. Anyway, let's take off the head. Um, I'd like to actually see how, oops, how the, uh, what the hell are they called? Head gaskets are, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So there we go, there we go. Should be the last bolt. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, and then we could also check out the spark plugs while we're here. Okay, so we have two good spark plugs right here. Um, the That was bad, by the way. Okay, uh, we do have good pistons. We're going to probably keep the block with the pistons on it. Uh, I think we'll probably end up keeping uh, the, uh, what the hell is this thing called? The intake manifold? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll probably keep the intake manifold on just so we can keep that carburetor on as well. Okay, those have bad rockers in as well, but the head's good. Um, we should be able to get that head not a problem without losing any oil, so we are going to do that. Let's just pull it off first, however. Uh, I think I'm missing the bolts inside here. Yep. There we go. There we go. Let's pull it off. Or not. I think we're missing that bolt right there. Okay, that should be it. There it is. There it is. Okay, let's take a look at these. Okay, this one has... Okay, get out of the way, will you? Uh, okay, okay. Let's take a look here. So it looks like there's one really bad spark plug uh, that's possibly fouled out 
and then two okay spark plugs and we do have a good head gasket by the way okay fantastic and the block itself is pretty bad but we should be able to take off uh, we should be able to do the timing cover without having to worry about losing oil I think the only thing I don't want to take off is okay now that's a good fuel, uh, fuel pump as well okay fantastic let's kind of get the, all the good parts over here right uh, there we go we're gonna go ahead and grab our spark plug wrench real quick um, and then this side has two good pistons and it has a good oil filter as well uh, we'll double check on that and this side has three good pistons so let's go ahead and grab our spark plug wrench really quick here we're gonna go ahead in fact uh, pull off this one and this one here there we go I just pull it out please thank you and then we will stick this these good spark plugs into this good head uh, but let's figure out which okay the middle one there there we go let's take out this bad spark plug right oh I think we already got it loose no we didn't there it is okay and then we'll put the good spark plug in yes and tight Okay, I think we got them all tight, right? Yep. Okay, yeah, at least we have two good spark plugs and then two uh, semi-okay spark plugs. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, anything else we could take off this? Let's check our oil filter real quick. Uh, if we can. Does this, this even have an oil filter? Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold the phone. There it is. No, nope, that's not it at all. Uh, what side does that go on, by the way? The other side okay oh it does have a bad oil filter okay let's go ahead and get this one off and ready now I'm pretty positive the oil is not gonna spill out with this oil filter off um, it seems like you can do that pretty easily in real life uh, take off an oil filter and not worry so there's that one and let's put the new one on bada bing bada boom fantastic throw it away and now let's start taking apart this left head and uh yeah yeah we don't need the spark plug thing anymore though uh but we might we might uh but let's go ahead and grab this head off first uh but before we do we are going to pull off the exhaust manifold right there we go there we go nope easy easy nope we missed it uh hold on there we go there we go just set it down Okay, next up, uh, we're going to have to take off the wires. So let's get these nasty wires off. And then let's go ahead and pull off the valve cover. Now, I don't believe we had any good valve covers. Um, not that valve covers really matter. Not even in real life. Uh, I mean, they just kind of hold in a little bit of... Uh, okay, yeah, they're both, they're both trash. Anyway... And then fortunately the rockers on this side was pretty trash but let's go ahead and just take the whole head off there we go uh yep this one that one and there we are and then the bottom ones uh i think there was a car out back right um uh, maybe not maybe not anyway let's see these are pissed, uh these uh spark plugs right away okay so this actually has one really good spark plug uh so let's just pull that off real quick nope get back in my hand please there we go there we go yeah yeah let's pull off the good spark uh, which is this one here this one here there we go and then we'll replace it with one of these semi good uh spark plugs right one of the end ones yeah yeah how about we do the first one so then we know uh, first, second, and third row are good. And then just the fourth one is not so good. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's get the head gasket on. How was the head gasket on this one, by the way? Oh, it's actually good. Ooh, we got some bad pistons in here. Now, I'm pretty positive we're not going to be able to pull those pistons off uh, through this way. Uh, let's see if we can squeeze our head in and find out, though. But I'm pretty positive. Uh, we will not be able to do such a thing. Do we have the wrench in our hand? Of course not. Now, we might be able to slide it through there without taking this off, but I'm pretty, pretty dang sure we can. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, this is definitely a bad piston. Let's go ahead and start putting on some good pistons. Yeah, yeah. 
And then once we actually find some oil, uh, we will go ahead and do a full um, crankshaft swap. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just going to slide this puppy right on through. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. Seems like a good idea. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I would have been able to uh, take this oil pan off and not had too much of an issue, but it's okay. I don't feel like risking it. Uh, let's go ahead and take this one off. There we go. And the one next to it. So we're going to pull this one out. And then, oops, that one already just plopped out. Not a problem. Now we're going to move all the bad pistons over here. And... Yeah. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, let's get those two pistons out of here. Uh, we should... I forget how many I said we had, but here's two right here. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll put the one in first, of course. And where's she going to go? Right there. Tight, tight. Okay, this should definitely help uh, this thing run quite a bit better. Even with a bad crank. Um, let's see, where's it at? Right there. Tight and tight. Okay, fantastic. So the first four pistons are, in fact, good. Um, we can't quite see the next one, but we can see this one is definitely bad. So let's grab it. Yep, yep. There we go. There we go. Bring it over. And let's go ahead and get another good piston, uh, which we have one here. These two are bad. And then we have one more good one right there so we have two more good pistons in here fantastic fan freaking fantastic we're gonna go just in just a little bit hit the hole in tight and tight okay fantastic we're gonna scroll down just a smidge okay let's take a look here uh those are all good now i can't quite see this side uh, let's see if we can get in there and actually see it uh with our eyeballs so, okay, yeah, this side's a little bit more tricky to see. Uh, we might have to scroll up a couple notches. Okay, easy. And see if we can just force our big fat head in. Like this, see it? Oh, there we go. Come on, baby, get in there. Okay, okay, maybe down one notch. Let's see. Come on, get under that freaking... Okay, that one back there looks good. And... I can't see this side. Okay, I think those actually all look good. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we could kind of see. It looks like it's a good one. And... Okay, they're all good. Pretty sure the rest of those are all good. Fantastic. Okay, let's get the head gasket back on. And then we're going to throw this head back on. Now, we only have one uh, semi-worn-out uh, spark plug, which will be in the back of the engine. Uh, so this spark plug is going to be the one that needs to be replaced. But let's get this all tightened. One, two, and then the five up here. There we go. And then down here. Beautiful. Beautiful as can be. Now, if, unfortunately, we didn't have any good rockers. So that does suck uh, just a little bit. Let's take a look at this spark plug again. I can't remember. I think this is the semi-okay spark plug, right? Let's see. Yeah, that was a semi-okay, and same with all of those. And I think this one as well was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, fantastic. So let's get the uh, valve cover back on this side, uh, which is going to be this one. This one, unfortunately. Okay, get that back on. And then we're going to check the head gasket on the other side real quick. And also uh, the rocker on that side as well. Uh, let's go ahead and just sleep right away. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. I don't know what time it is. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Okay, that side's good. Uh, yeah, let's just pull off this side real quick here. Uh, we're going to check the uh, head gasket and then, of course, the pistons. Uh, that come along with that head uh, but here is the valve cover okay we don't have good um of course we don't have any good rockers in here but that's to be expected i'm just going to pull this one out just like the other side and then let's go ahead and, oops i tightened okay there we go okay we got whatever we accidentally loosened anyway anyway there we go and up oh, 
Nope, let's get these first. And then we'll grab these. Okay. Three, four, and five. Okay, fantastic. Let's pull the whole head off. Let's check out these spark plugs. Okay, we have one really fouled out spark plug. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and replace that one. So if we come over here and take a look at for a second. Um, oh, no, no, never mind. I thought one of them was really, really fouled out. Uh, it is not. We actually have one good spark plug and three semi okay spark plugs. Okay, fantastic. Uh, how? Okay, this side's head gasket is bad, however. Uh, so let's throw this one to the side and we'll put in the new one. And cool, we have all four good pistons which is awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this head gasket on and then let's put that head back on, which is right here. There we go. Let's get her tightened back up. One, two, three. Yep. There we go. There we go. And once we get this, uh, basically once we're done here with all these parts, we will be heading to that junkyard that we saw on the map yesterday. Yeah. I'm very excited to see exactly what is in that junkyard. Uh, let's get this back on. Yep. Uh, get them all tight. Nothing didn't have any headers, unfortunately. Uh, nope, it did not. It did not. And then let's get these headers and engine uh, exhaust back on. I mean, there we go. Tight, tight, and tight, 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 tight. Okay, fantastic. Uh, did that, that didn't have an alternator on it, right? Nope. Uh, timing chain is bad. The timing sprocket is bad. We still want to keep this for its, um, crankshaft. We still want to keep it for its crankshaft. We just have to find, uh, some good old fashioned crude, just getting oil, oil. Anyway, let's get these all untight. That's when I must've just hit. Yeah. I'm just taking this off because, well, frankly, I just don't need it. And I want to just keep on the only things that I need. Uh, let's go and pull off the timing chain since it's a baddie. And then we're going to go ahead and pull off the timing sprocket or camshaft sprocket as it were. Uh, this camshaft actually does look good. We do want to take a look at our cam. Um, so we are... Oh wait, was there a thermostat on here by the way? Uh, there is, but it's junk. So is the distributor. Uh, let's just pull these off. So I don't need anything confusing my beautiful brain just kidding all right there we go there we go okay okay yeah let's take off our uh no belt came with that right no okay let's take off the belt uh let's make sure we got this area kind of cleaned up so this is trash uh we're gonna keep uh that thing we're gonna bring the good parts over here oh yeah the fuel pump how was the fuel pump on here oh we actually had a good fuel pump oh i'll be damned anyway uh, let's just kind of scooch this stuff over as well. And then we're going to keep that there. Okay. Okay. This back in hand and let's go ahead and continue on. We're going to first, you know what? I don't think we're going to pull off the, uh, the fan. I was going to pull off the fan, but I don't think I need to. I think we can get this without a fan removal. Uh, there we go. And was that the last one? Nope. Or maybe actually. Let's just kind of get under here. Let's see. Maybe I do need to take off the fan. I won't, maybe it might not let me. Because uh, we got this bottom one. Uh, we got that one over there. The top one. Unless there was one way up top that I just missed. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, did we get it? No, we didn't. Let's tighten up whatever the hell we loosened, by the way. Or not. Or not. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Let's pull off the radi uh, the alternator real quick here. There we go. Will you come off, please? No, you don't want to come off either? The hell's moving? Is it me or the damn engine? Look at this. It's the truck, right? The truck is moving? No? Yes, it's me? Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can get this alternator off. It doesn't... Oh, we have to pull off the, the cable. That's right. Okay, let's get this. Okay, whatever. We got it. We got it. Uh, but we actually need... Okay, we need the timing chain. Um, let's pull off the fuel filter. That is a good part. 
There goes the fuel line, by the way. Uh, fuel, not the fuel filter, by the way. I meant to say fuel pump. You guys know what I meant. Anyway, any bloody way. Uh, let's, okay, we're going to lose some radiator fluid here, I think. I swear this truck's moving, bro. Let's see if their truck hurts me. Anyway, um, yeah, let's just pull off the crank pulley here. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just pull, okay, easy. Pull off the timing cover. And then we'll just go from there. We'll go from there. Okay, well, we got it. We got the damn thing. Yeah, because we don't have a harmonic balancer. It's over there. It's junk. Uh, but let's get this on. Uh, the timing chain is bad. But the timing gear is bad as well. So we are, in fact, going to be taking off the harmonic balancer. Yep, because we can actually swap out this crank shaft freaking sprocket uh we just have to grab our pry tool real quick here hopefully we're not losing oil we shouldn't be uh but i guess you never know you never know uh there we go let's pull this one off there we go put this one on check it check let's go ahead and grab our wrench again and let's put this one on and then we'll put the harmonic balancer back on once we get this uh, we did not have a good timing chain, so that'll be an item we definitely have to keep out. Keep out an eye? No, keep an eye out for. Okay, okay, there we go. Come on, baby. Uh, that one. Oh, no, this one here. Uh, did we get the top ones? There was no top ones. There was no top ones. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And I think we got all four of those. Yeah, we did. Okay, let's get the harmonic balancer back on. Uh, it looks like it's about the same shape or better than the one that we did have. So there we go. Let's get the good old H2O pump on, right? H2O. Yep. And tight. Nope. Tight, tight. There we go. I think it's just five, right? Okay. Just stand the hell up. Okay. There we go. That should be all of them. Uh, we can get the fuel line back on now. If we could find the damn hookup there it is and then let's go ahead and throw the alternator back on one and a two let's go ahead and grab the good old belt here there we go now let's check the oil make sure we didn't lose any okay we didn't it's still extremely low but uh we didn't lose any yeah 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 we might have been able to go ahead and uh you know, anyway, let's see. You know what? Is there any of those freaking boxes in here? Not these boxes. Um, the little, like, tackle boxes. Uh, we are going to pick this up. Oh, I forgot we had a water pump with us this whole time as well. Oh, well. And we also have a pry tool. Okay, we're going to grab that. We can't forget we have stuff in our pockets. Um, I guess I'm going to take the flashlight in case we end up needing it. Um... Should have turned the light on in here before we came in, but it's okay. It's okay. What is this? Oh, it's a trim. Trim for what? That's the question, right? Well, hard to say where that trim goes. Let's just stick it on the back of the bed. Okay, let's get the uh, wires back in. Uh, yeah, that's an ignition coil and distributors bad as well. Uh, the alternator, the starter is actually good. Uh, this side's exhaust. Uh, we could look at the steering bits inside of that truck. Um, these are all bad. We don't want to keep any of them. We do want to keep... Oh, wait, hold on. We still have to put the valve cover onto this side. So let's get that on. Uh, we already have that valve cover. So let's grab our wrench, get that tightened up. We still have to tighten up the good old battery, of course. Well, I mean, we actually have to put the battery in, so... Uh, we, will, we will do that. We'll do that. Uh, oops, I keep missing that bolt. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, okay. Let's get this in. Check. Fantastic. Uh, did we tighten all these wires up? We did. We did. Okay, there we go. We're almost ready to leave. Uh, let's go ahead and start getting our tools recollected uh, back into our box. There we go. Um, I think that wrench is actually an extra... Yeah, we have a wrench already in there, so fantastic. We will pocket this one, though, for now. And 
Oh yeah, we're definitely keeping this block because there's a good crankshaft on there. Um, oh yeah, let's check out the non-existing steering bits. Yep, they don't exist, so we're not getting them. Okay, okay. And the steering column itself, I think, looks fine in this thing. Uh, it's just the actual uh, steering control module and the uh, linkage there. Okay. Oh, I seen a bad tie rod, uh, but that don't even have wheels. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we are, in fact, ready, except for I can't see what that is. Oh, it's a valve cover. Okay. Um, we might as well keep this. Uh, we'll just... You know what? I did want to try something. Let's go around back. I don't think there's any vehicles here, right? Besides the one that we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so eventually, once we find another vehicle, uh, whether it's a car or whatever, we're going to see if we can pull off. Oh, yeah, we need to pick our jack back up, by the way. Uh, we need to drop it first. And then we can bag it. Yeah, definitely don't want to forget that. That is a valuable piece of equipment. Uh, everything here looked fine. Our pubs and our axles, how long we've been going. Okay, we've already spent a bloody half an hour just here. Uh, so this one will probably be a little bit longer. It's probably going to run about an hour. Uh, but, but let's go ahead and so this is north. We'll have to turn back around, I think. Yep, so we're right here. If we head north, head right. And once we get on that strip of road, we're going to see that lake to the right, possibly, unless it's behind the mountains. Uh, but we're going to basically cut through here and head over to that junkyard. Um, we could go around the back way or down here. Uh, there is another little shop. Oh, it's a store right there. I think that's the one we went to already that had the paint and stuff. So, yeah, we're going to head north, uh, make a right and all that. We'll see if we can remember it. But let's get this into the cab right yep and then we're actually going to drop this into the cab as well <laughs> as i'm not too sure if we'll lose it anyway i think that's everything i think we did good let's get in let's get it started and uh let's do this thing i should start up a little bit better now uh let's just double check our coolant though before we do decide to leave oh was there a radiator in this because i do need a new um no there wasn't a new cap but anyway anyway i wish i could i wish i was a little bit taller i wish i was a baller okay there it is look it's still um well did we lose some of that? we may have lost a little bit uh let's see if we can get that filled up just a little bit more yeah because we did take off some stuff down there so anyway let's see if we can get this to hit in okay it says it's feel filling Unfortunately, we can't see, but we should be able to see it to start spilling over. Is it spilling over? Sure in the hell doesn't look like it, does it? Nope, there it goes, there it goes. It's starting to spill over. Okay, fantastic. Uh, seems like we still have some liquid in there. So, oops, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just trying to get this coolant over more. Anyway, let's get the lid back on, and uh, we should be good. We should. Yeah, it's a little bit fuller. Anyway, shut the thing. Let's get going. Scooch all this stuff over, please. Go. Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can grab this damn thing. Hold on. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, who knows what time it is. We are going to sleep real quick. There we go. Let's go ahead and see if this thing starts up a little bit easier. Okay, okay, it wasn't a lot easier, but... Yeah, I feel like that sounds better uh, than the base game. Anyway, anyway, let's release the brake. And yeah, we need to head north. Fantastic, look at us go. Look at us go. Later on, sucker. Okay, I don't have a, I don't have a horn. Anyway. Second, there we go. Okay, no, we're doing okay. It's, I mean, that's kind of, it's kind of holding here in second gear. Uh, ignore that, ignore that. It's fine. First, there we go. We're going to make a right. It's going to turn into a dirt road. Uh, there's our lake that we were speaking of. Fantastic. So let's just go, wait, there's a thing over here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold the freaking phones. Oh, it's a rock. It's a rock. Anyway, let's just get back out here to the road. And then we need to go just a little bit to the right up here. And then follow that dirt road. And then it should be just... 
Okay, okay. Okay, we're not gonna make it. We are not making it. We are not making it. Uh, you know what? We could just run along the, uh, the, the lake here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we might be able to get up here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 easy, easy. Okay, okay. Are we gonna be able to come up this way? Yeah, I mean, we could just follow that lake, uh, and get to the junkyard, but I feel like we can do this. Hold on. We got it. Come on, baby. I know you can do it. Get a little bit of speed here. Okay, crank it to the right. Yep. There we go. There we go. Yeah, see, this is all you have to do. Okay, okay. Come on. Get a little bit of speed. Yep, there we go. Turn it around. Okay, okay, come on, baby. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Into second. Okay. Floor it. Let's see if we can get up this little spot here. Down into first. Okay, let's get a little bit of an angle here. There we go. There we go. Over to the left. Yep, yep, we got this. Oh, we got this. Yeah, yeah, no, I think we got this. Uh, stay at an angle just a little bit. No, I think we got this. I think we got this. Yeah, yeah, check us out. Check us out. Okay, so once we get up here, uh, we should see a lake to the left, a small one, and then the big boy over here on the right, and then we should see the junkyard. Oh, is that going to be the junkyard way on top of that hill? Oh my god, we did see that earlier, didn't we? Okay, okay, let's get it into third. We're going to switch it to first. Yeah. Let's go down to fourth. Okay. Oh, I forgot to check that transmission, by the way, uh, to see if it was a five speed. Anyway, we're cruising. Um, we might want to get it slowed down, though. Now, I don't have the perfect photographic memory, uh, but I'm pretty sure that over there is going to be... Okay, there's that small, that small lake we were talking about. And yeah, I'm pretty sure up there on that hill is where the good old frickin' junkyard is. Right? Okay, we almost hit that tiny tree, by the way. Uh, let's just back out a little bit here. Oh my god, that's a hill and a half, guys. I don't know if we're gonna make it up that SOB. Um, well, let's just keep on cruising through here. Okay, don't hit the trees, please. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the junkyard up there. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay, let's get it back into first. Nope, we're good. We are good. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that is it up in that freaking hill. Uh, that is going to be quite the challenge to get up. Um, it's over there to the right. Yep, that would be the spot, wouldn't it? Yep, sure in the heck would be. Okay, well, it does look like there is a road that goes up there. So uh, let's just put it back into first. Downshift to second. We still have everything in here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Okay, we definitely uh, got stuck. Uh, let's just take a look. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, fair enough. Uh, fair enough. Let's actually just pop our butts out, and then we're going to just Flintstone it backwards. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's sit back in. Kick it to the right. Uh, we're going to hold it in the clutch. Okay, let's actually jump out and see if we can run forward just a bit. Nope, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that backwards, please. Yep. Nope, nope, we're flipping. We are flipping. Okay, go forward. Go forward. Uh, backwards. Backwards. Forward. Forward. Okay. Okay, backwards. Backwards. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. Let's sit back down. Uh, throw it into reverse. Nope, nope, nope. We need to cock it over. Cock it over to the right. Okay, okay. Let's try this again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Backwards. Sit in the seat. Oh, no, we're going backwards. Uh, okay, go forward now, please. Forward. Yep, I think we're going to get it. I think we're going to get it. Just scooch, scooch. Here we go. Fantastic. Pop the clutch. There we go. So you can you can pop the clutch. Uh, it just doesn't always work. Anyway, we got it. We got this, guys. We got this. Let's go ahead and give it all the gas we can because we are going to have to make it up this hill. All right, let's go. Let's go. Floor it. Third. Okay, come on, baby. You can do it. 
second. Okay, that's a bit steep hill there. Uh, let's see. Let's go into first and then flip this bitch around. First, there we go. Come on, turn it. Oh god, oh god, okay, okay, come on. Oh god, do you think we're gonna make it up this thing? Um, I'm not that confident, you guys. Uh, we might have to walk up there with our toolbox. Okay, that doesn't help. That does not help, okay. Down. Get some speed. Crank it up, crank it up, crank it up. Turn it all the way around, please. Oh, nope, we didn't make it. We did not make it. Let's hit the brake. Uh, shut it off. Uh, do you think we could fluent stone up this thing? <sighs> okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Go. Oh, no, I think we're going to be able to do it. Okay. I think we're going to be able to do it at least somewhat. Okay, come on. Come on, fluent stone, baby. Fluent stone it. Okay, okay, nope, we're going the wrong way. We are going the wrong way. Okay. Sit in the chair. Okay. Okay, throw it in reverse. Okay, pop the clutch. There we go. Let's try reverse. Yeah, yeah, reverse got the power. Oh, yeah, we got this. We got this. Oh, dude, we got this. Yep. Who knew? Who knew reverse was the way to go? Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, easy. Okay, come on. Go, go, go. Yep, a little bit further. Okay, okay. Okay, there we go. There we go, you guys. We made it. You didn't think I was going to do it, did you? You didn't think I was going to make it, did you? Well, frankly, either did I. Oh, I think it's loading in. Oh. My God. Okay, turn it off. Hit the brake. Oh. My God. I've never been to a junkyard in survival mode before, you guys. Um. Oh my God, I can't believe there's actually a bunch of cars here. Okay, anyway, let's look at our accomplishment real quick. Well, that was, <laughs> that was quite beautiful. Oh my God. Okay. Well, check it out. You guys, we have, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, we got some good hoses. Okay. I'm getting a little bit excited. I'm getting the hiccups here. Okay. Let's pull that off. Uh, we don't need that, but okay. Let's check out the rest of these real quick. We got a four banger, uh, some windows. Okay. Okay. We don't have any other trucks. Uh, we got a bunch of four bangers now. So. I don't know how I feel about that. What is this? What is this? Ramp bed storage box. What? Oh, we don't have the ramp bed. We have the, um, oh, that's for the motorcycle. Funny. Uh, we have the, uh, flatbed. Anyway, what about here? Okay. Now some of these engines might have oil, so we might be able to actually get some of this oil, even if it is bad. Uh, let's check out the building real quick here. Or not. Uh, what do we got? Some drinks in there. Um, I don't have the the food thing turned on. I don't know. I guess I should turn it on at some point. Um, oh, yeah. There's some good oil, actually. Okay. We should be able to pour that out, right? I don't know. I don't know, actually. Okay. 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 So we're not going to be able to take any of these cars. Uh, obviously, maybe we could take the Jesse. Um, I don't think we could put dualies on there, though. We might be able to put those front tires on the back. I doubt it, though. No, those got, like, many, many bolts. Okay, okay. Uh, five bolts. Uh, these are four bolts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, four bolts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And four bolts. I mean, we basically, I mean, we would probably have, to have enough to pick up one of these, but we do not want to do that. No, we want to keep this truck. Okay, well, hell, um... We should try to empty out some of this oil, though. Uh, I don't know if we're able to do such a thing or not, but I think it's worth trying, right? Is it worth trying? Uh, I was basically thinking just dump the um, engine upside down without the cap and see if it comes out. And if it does come out, we could swap this head over to this engine uh, and do the same thing with this engine because this actually has better oil in it. Uh, so, yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's pull that engine out real quick. Let's see if we can actually. No, we don't want to pull off the, the bed anyway. Yeah, let's see if we can dump that oil out of this engine over here. And this didn't have an engine, right? No, oh, it does have an engine. How's the oil in this one, by the way? Okay, that's bad oil too. Okay, okay. That car there, this car here actually has good oil. Uh, So, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, let's pull this off. Uh, let's get the block. Uh, yep, that, uh, and this here, 
Okay. Now I didn't look and see where to go uh, on the stupid map after we went to the junkyard. So we might have to actually end up going back to that gas station uh, just so I can get a better look. Anyway, uh, let's set that down. Right. Set it down. Stand it up. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's pull off the cap and then let's dump this thing and see if oil comes out. Oh, no, it doesn't. It bloody doesn't. Well, you know what? Let's take off the oil pan. Nah, it's not going to fit. Uh, they are completely different oil pans. Uh, yeah, V8 oil pan is completely... Is it different, though? Yeah, I know. It's completely different. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. But, but, we might be able to take... Yeah, no, we can't pour this any which way we try to do it. Um, We might be able to take... Uh, oh, yeah, let's see if we can take one of these seats real quick. Uh, that looks like a pretty good seat. Actually, it's nice and... Yeah, these are all going to be the same. Let's see what the seats in the Jesse looks like. Okay, there is none. Okay, let's pull this seat out. Let's see if we could at least take a uh, bucket seat instead of the bench seat that's in that F-350. And that'll give us a little bit more room inside there. Well, it doesn't actually give us more room, but it'll seem like there's more room because we're going to actually be able to see the stuff on the ground instead of it clipping through the seat. Right, and we did lose that battery, by the way, so everything doesn't just stick. Uh, so that is good to know. That is good to know. But let's take this off. Uh, yep, it should be two on each side. And yeah, let's see if we can get a bucket seat in here. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to. I know all the other cars... Um... Oh, 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 we might be able to, actually. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, cause this takes four spots just like, okay. Okay. Just like the other cars. Okay. Yeah. So we should definitely be able to put bucket seats into this thing because out of all the parts in the game, the seats are the only thing that seem to work on any car whatsoever. It doesn't matter. Even if it says it is like this here says it's only F 100 or this here says it's only for a lad and a NIV, but yeah, it fits. Uh, so fantastic. Yeah. This is going to be a lot better. Uh, in this truck. We're definitely going to be doing this in the old, um, in my regular playthrough as well. And then what is pretty funny is this should actually fit in there. It does. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? I might actually put this into, uh, the classic lad with the old school freaking dashboard. I think that would look kind of sweet. Anyway, anyway, I do wish this thing came with an engine. Yeah, an engine or a transmission for that matter. Oh, the drive axle might have worked, but there's no drive shaft. Anyway, let's see if this uh, hose will work. It says it's say yeah, it says a three F three fifty and F one hundred. So let's just set that up here. Uh, we will replace this top hose. There we go. Let's put the new one on. There it is. Tighten it, please. OK, there we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. OK. How's our oil, by the way? Let's just set that down. Okay, it's still uh, below uh, where it should be, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, okay. Let's take a look at this rest of this uh, Jesse real quick. Now, see if there's anything else we could take off of this thing. I don't know the parts uh, compatibilities too well, uh, too much uh, between the two, or between, well, any of the vehicles. Okay, that looks like this is very specific to this vehicle. Uh, the pedals seem to work fine. Let's just throw that over there. Um, I don't think there's really anything else we can take. Um, it would be nice if we could find a good air filter. Uh, we're just going to stick this back into the car, the truck. Yeah, doesn't that look a lot better now? It does, right? Okay, hold on. We got something jamming this up here. Uh, we got to scoot this in just a little bit more. Possibly these bottles too. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, wait, we need to put our tools back in here. Okay, let's just throw that one in. Uh, drop that. Oops, easy. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for what we can take out of here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty positive anyway. Uh, calipers, possibly. I don't. We don't need a brake line anymore. Um, this doesn't even have any leaf springs. But you guys were like, don't forget to check the leaf springs. Well, 
I heard you mentally letting me know. So uh, no leaf springs, unfortunately. Yeah, because we do have, I believe, two busted ass leaf springs in our truck. Right? Let's take a look again. Oh, yeah. Both leaf springs are completely busted. Um, there is one bad rear shock, by the way. Uh, let's take a look at this rear shocks real quick. Okay, it has just one bad rear shock as well. So that would not have... Uh, that would not have helped whatsoever. Okay, okay. Any of this front stuff intercompatible? Um, that truck almost looks like it has NIV control arms. Um, does this have a... Oh, this has a good... You know what? This thing has a good um, tie rod. And I know one of our tie rods is definitely bad. So uh, let's go ahead and grab this off, right? 100%. Okay. And this one too. Yep. Oh, and then we should take a look at the steering bits real quick. Uh, because they might be intercompatible as well. Uh, so let's get under here. How's... Yeah, that tie rod's bad. And... Well, it looks like they both might be bad. Let's just get in here a little bit better. No, no. Just that one over there. Okay. Let's uh, swing around to the other side, get this tie rod put on. Um, one and, oh nope, I think I got the wrong one. Okay, one and two, two, there it is. There it is, let's get this one on. Oh, it doesn't say it's compatible. It does not say that it's compatible. Nope, not even a little bit. They are different. Oh, it is Niv freaking uh, suspension. That is quite hilarious. Okay. Okay, let's get this broken tie rod back on uh, because we won't be able to do anything without that, right? Well, it'll probably still run, but it'll run like a really bad caca. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take a look at the uh, steering bits on this real quick and see if any of them are good. Now, it did also look like it was Niv steering. Um, this side has just this little one over here. I don't know if it'll work or not. Let's just pull it off and find out. I don't know if I can get that off without... I think we have to pull off the whole thing here. Hold on. Okay, get down here. Get down a little bit further. Why isn't this wanting to come off, by the way? Let's try this again. Okay, we might just have to take off this tie rod from this side uh, to get it off. Yeah, yeah, okay. Not a problem, not a problem. Okay, let's see if this thing's compatible. It is not, it's not. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it seems like that whole front end of that truck may in fact be from a NIV, which is interesting uh, in its own. Does that mean this truck is four-wheel drive? Uh, let's take a look real quick. Uh, I can't really get under here. Um, that is one long ass drive. Oh, it is four wheel drive. I'll be got stanged. Okay. Unstuck me, please. There we go. Okay. Let's get this in. And yeah, that would have been nice if we could have found a Niv up here, but it's, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be it for this area. What the hell is this thing, by the way? Oh, that's for the ramp bed. Yeah. We don't have the ramp. Okay. Let's get going. Uh, how long have we been going? Okay, we've already been going for 50 minutes. So we're just going to stop here. And we have quite the selection to choose from up here. Uh, down there is where the gas station is. Um, let me know down below which way you guys think I should head. North, south, east, or west. Um, yeah, I should have looked at the map a little bit better. I don't think it mattered simply because there was no more gas stations. I think we came from the south, right? So maybe head north. Yeah, I think we'll probably head that way next. Just head north and see what we could find, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay, well, I think that's going to be it for this one, you guys. Um, we didn't make a lot of progress as far as distance goes, uh, but I feel like we definitely made some progress with uh, a lot of the other stuff, right? Uh, we're just going to stick this back here. And uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Well, that's going to be it for this one, you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yes, this will, I'm going to try to make this kind of a regular now, um, alternating between the regular My Garage and the My Garage Survival. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one.
All right, all right. Later on, everybody.